Hi, welcome back. Uh, we are going to continue today building the dollhouse. Thanks for joining. So this is where we left it. We had just finished putting those stairs on. Uh, let's see, I think you watched as I did the trim on the windows. And I was just starting to trim out the outside windows. So, not entirely sure I'm happy with the way the outside is looking. I don't know. We'll see. I might still uh, turn it into a tree trunk. We just don't know. jumbo sticks for the floors and I just cut off the ends and filed them down and glued them in place with hot glue. Easy as that. It might have been better if I had built boxes for my floors so I could run lights. As it is, my floors are too thin for me to run lights and I'm going to have to light with lamps, I guess. So apparently I'm going to learn how to make a doll lamp. <laughs> That'll be coming. Today is going to be time now to install at least floor number one. I might need to <laughs> I might need to install floor number two at a later date, but for now we're gonna put in floor number one. You can see it's gonna so it's not. My box has spread out, and I guess you know this is one of the things about working with a beat up old cardboard box. You know, you can find better <laughs> cardboard probably to work with from what I'm seeing but when you start with an old beat up box you kind of you kind of have to deal with things moving and not quite being square and and etc things like that so I think though that I can squeeze it together enough that with the right glue I can make it work so I'm also going to put a support wall right here um, 
uh, right down here to make uh, to help hold the floor up. So uh, let's get started. I've got hot glue. And I'll see if I can glue both of these sides at the same time. We might just be able to do one. Oh, I have bigger glue than I don't have. Okay, let's try it. I'm also going to add support uh, in the bottom in here and along here as well that will help hold everything together. Now the challenge, oh no, it's getting enough glue with this little tiny glue gun. I should have both of my glue guns going, I guess. So here you can see where I had to clamp it into place to get the second floor there to stay and hold with just the glue. It did work, uh, but you can see my house is becoming a little bit warped. Pretty sure it's going to be a crooked house for a crooked person. <laughs> to do the stairs, I just wrapped foam board in pieces of paper and then just glued them to the wall and provided some supports with some coffee sticks. And then with the second floor, again, I had to clamp it in place to get it to stay, but it turned out great. Now it was time for the support walls. I took foam board and covered it with scrapbook paper and glued it in place to make my supporting walls. I made a rooftop deck out of popsicle sticks, craft sticks, and little square sticks that I had. I made the sides solid, but the front I made a pattern on. And then I topped it off with some cork board that I had laying around to just give it a rustic feel. And there you have it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll stay tuned next time as I start putting together the inside of the house. I'm going to do a kitchen and a bathroom and furniture and all that stuff. I'm going to learn as I go, so I'll share that with you. It might be interesting or worth a laugh anyway. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned on the updates of me building a cardboard house. Have a great day.